Hello all. Today we will discuss Exchange 2016 architecture. Important point is Exchange 2016 uses a single building block architecture. Let's have a look at this diagram first. It has three mailbox servers in a DAG. The AD site contains a writable DC which is also a global catalog server. It has a hardware load balancer for internal and external client access traffic. An edge server is in a perimeter network connecting to exchange site LAN through an internal firewall. There is an external facing firewall protecting the edge server. Exchange Online Protection which is also known as EOP is providing additional mail filtering and protection service over and above the edge server. Using EOP along with the edge server is optional. Let's now discuss Exchange 2016 Rules Architecture. Exchange 2016 has only two roles, Mailbox Server and Edge Transport Server. Let's take the Mailbox Server role first. In Exchange 2016, Mailbox Server role now contains transport services as well that are used to route mail. Mailbox servers contain mailbox databases that process, render, and store data. This is the traditional function of a mailbox server. Mailbox servers contain client access services as well that accept client connections for all protocols. These front-end services are responsible for routing or proxying connections to the corresponding back-end services on a mailbox server. Clients don't connect directly to the back-end services. Now, let's discuss the Edge Transport Server role. Edge Transport Servers handle all external mail flow and provide anti-spam and mail flow rules. Edge Transport Servers are typically installed in the perimeter network as shown in the first slide. ADLDS and Edge Sync make recipient and other configuration information available to the Edge Transport Server. Let's now move on to the High Availability Architecture. For Mailbox High Availability, DAG is the fundamental element of High Availability and Site Resilience Framework. For transport high availability, the transport service makes redundant copies of all messages in transit. This feature is known as shadow redundancy. The transport service makes redundant copies of all delivered messages. This feature is known as safety net. An important consideration is that DAG represents transport high availability boundary. And site resilience can be achieved by spanning DAG across multiple sites. Please do watch video on Exchange 2016 Preferred Architecture for more details. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel to get notified on future videos.